Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to be working on enchantments. Uh, I have done a spell uh, creation sort of tutorial which has covered a lot of magic effect details. So you might want to go and watch that because I'm not going to go through all the details of magic effects. Uh, just how to basically create an enchantment, put it to an item and obviously uh, put that item in the world. So uh, to get started we're just going to clear some of this off. Uh, we're going to go under magic and enchantment and we're just going to take a look at all these enchantments that we've got here. Uh, enchantments are pretty much like spells you have to start with the magic effect obviously or magic effects. Uh, you have to either create them or find the ones that you want. Uh, somebody asked me how do I make it so I can get a, a sort of frost cloak and have it placed on me where say I'm wearing a ring or something. So uh, that's sort of what we're going to do today and I'm also just going to grab a weapon and place an enchantment on it because uh, the two are a bit different when it comes to either on a weapon or on an apparel item. So uh, yeah, enchantments usually uh, have ENC on the uh, ENCH on the front of them obviously. Uh, we're just going to go straight to magic effect first. Now, if you go type ENC, if we just go down, uh, most of the magic effects that are actually related to enchantments do have this as well. ENCH on the start. And you can just check first to see if what you want as an enchantment is already there. If it's already there, then half your work's done for you. Uh, if it isn't there and it's something like a frost cloak that is only a spell in the game, then what you're going to want to do is obviously find that effect that you want. This is all going to save us from just uh, creating a magic effect from scratch because it's really uh, really quite long-winded and annoying. So we're going to click in Frost. We're going to have a look for Frost Cloak. Frost Cloak on self. If we just open that up. So if we open that up, as we can see, it says Fire and Forget on self. Now, um, Apparel enchantments require it to be a constant effect, and that's all it is. We want this magic effect, but it needs to be constant, otherwise it's not going to work with our enchantment. It's not even going to show up in the list. So what you'd want to do, you want to click constant effect, and there's a couple of other things that obviously change when it's a constant effect. There's obviously not going to be any duration to this, so you'd tick the duration, uh, no duration even. Uh, there's not going to be any area, it's just going to work on yourself, though you could probably mess around and uh, get things to work in an actual radius of the player. Um, painless, well yep, it's not going to hurt us, so you want that as painless. Uh, hostile you could have, uh, there's a number of options, like I said I'm not going to go through them. Uh, the only ones that usually affect anything like this is FX persists, and if it's something that to do to do with actually having a script to get the magic effect to work you may have to go in there and uh, change one or two options for it to fade out otherwise when you take the item off the effect may remain on you and if that's like invisibility then that's not good because your character's never going to come visible again so you have to just have a play around in the menus so a few things just to to be sure with in terms of getting the, the thing to knock back off you can change keywords most of the time there's no need to you just got to Gonna make sure that they're not going to affect anything. But the main thing that you really want to do is constant effect and on self. And if you're working with weapon enchantments, they would actually be an effect of fire and forget on contact because it's going to be when you hit someone with that weapon. But for now, we're going to do a constant effect frost cloak and we're just going to put ENC on the front so we know that's our version for enchantment. Uh, double check everything. You can usually change the item description because it's a bit of a different scenario. I'm not going to bother. There's no need for me to do that. I'm going to go ahead, click OK, create new form because we haven't already, so we don't overwrite the old one. And as you can see, it's appeared at the top of the list. So obviously, uh, enchantments don't have to be limited to one effect. Uh, if you know what you're doing, you can link a number of effects together. Uh, but some effects do overwrite each other. But we can now go ahead and just create a new enchantment from scratch. No need to like duplicate one for this it's a much simpler and easier menu to do uh, what I'm also going to show you with this is how to make it so you can disenchant the item that we we put our new unique enchantment on and you can then put that enchantment onto anything so ID we're going to call it ENC frost cloak uh, the name is pretty important this is actually going to be what it is in the menu so when you go to um, disenchant this off the item uh, this is, the name is actually going to be what you see in the menu in terms of what the enchantment's called. 
So uh, this is going to be just a frost cloak enchantment. We're going to actually call this type enchantment. You can also do staff enchantments, which is obviously a weapon. Uh, these are pretty separate because staffs have their very own specific sort of ways of working. So staffs are a separate sort of thing. I'm not going to be going into staffs today. Uh, constant effect on self that's the kind of thing we're looking for base enchantment would be itself but it's not going to show in the menu because it hasn't been confirmed yet so if we just confirm that it says we haven't got any effects in there that's fine for now there it is EMC frost cloak go back in and it should appear in here uh, I'm not sure why this is but this is usually set to itself most of them are warm restrictions is the interesting part uh, if you type in enchant all these ones in the list with enchantment and then something after them are basically uh, sort of little form lists which say what sort of uh, items this enchantment can go on. So I find that for clothing I always just put enchantment water breathing because we all know that the water breathing enchantment can go on only certain clothing items and we want to have that for hours. So it saves us making a new form list for it. Just use something else. It won't affect anything. Auto calculate you can leave. Uh, don't bother with extend duration on recast because it's not being recast, it's a constant effect. And then what's left is to add our own effects. So obviously you can add multiple ones like I said. Uh, we're just going to add our very own Enchant Frost Cloak Self one. Uh, we've managed to take our duration and area off and all that's left is the magnitude. That's usually about 10 for a cloak. Uh, if you're not sure what to set these as then obviously um, if you're taking the effect of a spell, then go and check out the spell and see what they've set the options for and just put that into your enchantments option. Uh, so we're all good there. Click OK. All we've got to do now with our, our uh, apparel enchantment, we've got it ready to go onto an item, so we need to put it onto the item. And we've also, it's all done now in terms of it can actually be pulled off the item. There's one thing to check, uh, which I'll show you now. We're obviously going to want to put this on an item, so we're going to go for a, let's go for a ring or something. Uh, we'll go into items, we'll go into ring. Uh, don't want an enchanted ring, we just want a, a bog standard jewellery ring, so we'll go with, a, go with a gold diamond ring, we'll duplicate that, then we'll edit it. Uh, what are we going to call it? We'll call this the, uh, the ring of frost. Pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the magic effect in a moment as well, just to show you something to get an effect to show on the menu on the ring itself. But uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, enchanting. This is obviously our enchantment now, so we need to find our frost enchantment. There it is. So that'll actually go on there. If it doesn't appear in the list, it's because you obviously haven't set the constant e effect and on self or put the wrong effect to it or something. So just go back and check that over. Uh, obviously make sure it's playable. Uh, the thing to check here is there is something that you can add. Oh. Uh, it is called... What is it called? Something along them. There we go. Magic no disintegrate. No, not magic no disintegrate. There is one in here that says uh, basically there's a keyword. It's usually pretty obvious, and it's, it says uh, that you can't rip the enchantment off. It just make sure that there's a keyword in that, and it doesn't sound like it means that you can't pull the enchantment off. It. Otherwise, it won't appear in the, uh, the enchantment menu. I can't remember what it is, but uh, it'll be there. And if it is, get rid of it. So go ahead, click OK. No and then yes, because we've already duplicated it. And our Ring of Frost is down there. All you'd have to do now is drag it into the game, and that'll be ready for you. Uh, I said I was just going to go back and check a magic effect out for our Frost. Frost Cloak. Oh, wrong one. It's the top one we actually wanted. So if you just go in here, I'm just going to show you... Um, I think it is Enchant Shader. Uh, if you just put FX, that might be it. Uh, in here, you can basically find the correct sort of effects. There we go, Enchantment Effects. Uh, these will put nice little um, sort of a blue frost glow around it if you select the right one. Uh, so Enchantment Blue Shader could put a nice blue shade around it when it's in the menu. Just adds that extra bit of detail that says, yep, yeah, this item's enchanted. So you can mess with that and find the right one. I'm not quite sure what it is, but 
All we've got left now, uh, just show you how it's a little different when you're dealing with weapon enchantments. Obviously, like I said, it'll be uh, a different sort of magic effect. It'll be one that's fire and forget and on contact. So I'm just going to go with one that's already here. If we type in ENC weapon, uh, wrong, no, ENC, we just find the enchantments and some of them should mention weaponry. Oh, there's some enchantments in here. Uh, there's basically... Um, ah, that's it, because I'm not looking at the right ones. If you go ENC in here and weapon, most weapon enchantments are pretty much done for you. So, um, ENC weapon, these are all the enchantment that's gone, uh, enchantments that go on weapons. So this is uh, absorbing magic, health, uh, doing certain frost damage or whatever other damage. And a number of other interesting effects like Soul Trap. They should all be listed there in those enchantments. And all you do is you obviously do exactly the same. It's a bit different with weapons because they're obviously, they are different. Get, oh, well, we'll just go to Akaviri Sword. That would be a lot easier. Just go in here, enchanting. You just select the enchantment again. So it's ENC weapon. Go down, select the enchantment. You can go in and uh, adjust them if you like. Just be careful to make duplicated versions of them. Uh, especially if you're messing with the magic effects themselves. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You follow pretty much the same sort of um, string of steps that you do just for a power, but it's just a little different. So that's how you make your own enchantments, put them to items, and in terms of creating a, a, a frost cloak, well, it is just a simple matter of getting the effect that you want, but just making that then one or two adjustments to make it work with clothing items. So uh, I hope that tutorial was helpful. I hope it covers uh, what you need to know. Uh, like I said, the actual magic effects and stuff, there's a bit more detail on my uh, spell creation tutorial, which I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link to the creation kit wiki for magic effects. That might uh, give you a bit more in-depth detail about everything. So I hope you found it helpful. Please leave comments. Uh, visit my website, check out my social stuff. And you can also join me on my Steam group now. Uh, which will keep you up to date with my videos and my latest mods. So thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.